Welcome to Multisim Tutorial Part 6. In this video, we'll learn how to measure voltages and currents using probes as well as multimeter. I have made this circuit with three resistors and a voltage source. If you did not know how to make this circuit in Multisim, please visit Part 1 of this tutorial series. Those who know the circuit analysis can do a mental math and find the voltages and currents. Now let's see what values we can get using our probes. First, let me show you how to measure voltage using voltage probes. In order to measure voltage, let's go here. You see a bunch of icons here. The first one at the left side is a voltage probe. If we click on that, and we are bringing a probe. I want to measure voltage across this R3 resistor, so I like to connect it here. Now, before connecting, as you can see, when the probe is here, the color is different. Now, when it's connected, the color changes. So when the color changes, it says it's connected properly. Now, just make one click, that will connect it here. If the color does not change here, but still the probe may show that it's connected, but it is not. It will not be properly connected in that case. Now this little display here shows every voltage that we can measure using this voltage probe. In this case, we don't need other voltages, so let me fix it. So here's a little pop-up window that can actually allow you to do uh, so many interesting things about this probe. So first, let's go to general. Here's the probe name. We can change the probe name. So let's say I want to say it V3 because this is voltage across register 3. And then we could do something else like what you want to display and so on. But under the appearance tab, we can change the color of this yellow. For example, this is yellow now. I want to change it to a little green side. So I picked green. We can say apply, so that will apply right away. I like to make the fonts a little bigger. For parameter, it shows whole bunch of voltages that we can measure. So I like to customize that. So if I select here, this is my tricky way to change it instead of changing one by one. So I like to see VDC, just make VDC yes, everything else is no. And we are done. So that shows V3 prop with a different color and only VDC with a larger font. We can even change it wherever you like to place it. Okay. Now let's run the simulation. So this simulation shows the voltage at this point is six volts, which is correct. Notice this voltage we are measuring. It is the voltage at this point with respect to reference point. What if we like to measure a voltage across this resistor R1? Let's try that using this voltage probe. So I have a voltage probe added here. Let me change the same way that I did for the other voltage probe. So now we have a voltage probe here, and it gives us 9 volts. This 9 volt is not correct because this 9 volt is voltage at this point with respect to ground. So this is not what we wanted to measure. We wanted to measure voltage across this resistor R1, which should be different. Before I show you how to measure voltage across R1, I see this name of this voltage probe is kind of overlapping this resistor but we really can move it. It doesn't give us option to move, but we can certainly do something. If you right click here, and then it shows you flip horizontally. So you can flip horizontally. We could move there. We could even do something else. For example, rotate by 90 degree clockwise, counterclockwise. There are a number of options here. So this works better for us. So let me delete this probe 
as it did not work for us. Multisim gives an option to measure a differential voltage with this probe. So let's bring a differential probe. So connect the differential probe here. Once you click there, it gives you a reference probe. So with respect to which point? So let's say I want to measure with respect to this point. This time it will give a voltage across this resistor R1. And the display comes here. And the little tab here, as you can see, it shows the voltage polarity. So I have changed the appearance. And now we see the voltage here displays as three volts, which is correct. The voltage across our own. This voltage is giving with respect to this point as a reference that we have set here. Now let's bring a current probe. Here we have this current probe icon. Click on that just like before. We'll have a current probe and it comes with all the current options like before. So we like to measure only IDC or I in this case. So let me change the appearance like before with a different color this time. Okay, now we have a current probe. I changed the appearance with the name as well. Let's click on this gives us one milliampere of current in this line. Let me show you another interesting thing. Sometimes that we may have that kind of problem measuring current or voltage probe. So let me bring another current probe from this menu and I'm setting that here. I like to measure the total current in this circuit. Like before, let me change the appearance as well. Okay, so I've changed the appearance, color, font, and the name of this. Let's simulate this circuit and see how much current we get. Okay, we got three milliampere, which is correct, but notice there is a negative sign here, which is not correct. If you carefully notice at this arrow, this arrow is pointing in opposite direction and we did not change it. It was automatically chosen by multi-SIM. There is no problem here, but this one is set in opposite direction. Multi-SIM may put these probes in different directions, opposite directions, but we can change it. In order to change it, says so right click on there, and then reverse probe direction. Just that simple, reverse probe direction. You see that negative sign has disappeared and the probe direction had changed. This is the right direction for the current. Let's see whether we can measure power of an element. To do so, this is the power probe. Bring it here. As you can see, we cannot connect power probe on anywhere on the line but the power probe must be connected on an element. It must be connected on an element, but not in this line. So let's say I want to measure the power of this element. So place it here just by single click and I'll change the appearance like before. Okay, I have changed the color. Notice this time I have also changed the font color which you can easily do from the, what I have shown you earlier. So now click on run. The power here is 21.3 milliwatts. If we want to measure the power of this source here, place another probe on this and change the appearance like before. Okay, I have changed the appearance and changed the name as well as PV1 for this voltage source P1. And now let's run simulation. You notice there is a negative sign, which is correct, because this power is a generated power, hence the negative sign is there. But this is an absorbed power by the resistor, so this is positive. Now all the props are back. So this is how it might look with different colors and a little bit of organizing the props. Now let me show you one last but certainly not least thing about placing a probe. Let's click on Simulate, Analyze and Simulation. 
here you can see there is a whole bunch of different types of simulation. We haven't discussed that yet, but it was selected interactive simulation mode. If we change that to anything other than interactive simulation, let's say DC sweep and save it, all the probes display gone. And at this point, if you want to bring another voltage probe or current probe here, it really doesn't work. It will be placed here, but it does not work. In order to get the props active and working, do not forget that you have to select interactive simulation. Make sure it is at interactive simulation and save it. Let me delete all the props. Okay, we got back this clean circuit again. And if you look at the right side, there are different icons here. These are all the uh, meters, analyzers, oscilloscope, all sorts of things that you might use in your circuit analysis. So this is Agilent multimeter. So I'll place a multimeter here. Is it really a multimeter? So let's double click on that. Yes, it is. This is exactly the front panel of an Agilent multimeter. So these terminals corresponds to these terminals here. We can connect the circuit with whatever we want to do, either measuring voltage or current or both. So let's say we want to measure voltage across this resistor R1. So this pin here, this terminal here, corresponds to this terminal. So we need to connect it here. And you see that changed. That means this terminal is now connected to the circuit. And this is the ground. There's a little crossover here, but it's not a problem. We could avoid by placing it cleverly. Ground is connected here, so it's ready to give us the reading. Run the simulation now. Click on this power button. So currently it is showing you AC voltage, but we are measuring DC voltage. So click on this DC voltage, and it is 4 volts. We can change the voltage here from 12 volts to, let's say, 9 volts and run the simulation again and see the voltage change from four to three volts. So the meter is working perfect. Okay, now let's measure current. I've broken the circuit here to connect the multimeter in series. This time for current, we need to connect here. This is for current. So that corresponds to this prop, which is the positive terminal of the meter. So it's here, you see that's highlighted now and the ground like before. So we have this connection done. Before we run the simulation, notice this is selected as DC voltage. Now DC current is under the shift operation here. So let's press shift and select, click on here. That gives us DC milliampere. So we have three milliampere of DC current in this line which is correct. So we have learned how to measure voltages and currents, power using probes, and also we have learned how to measure voltage current using multimeter in multisim. Thank you for watching this video, and if you would like to know something else, please let me know in the comment box.